Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So this week I am in Atlanta for work. So I thought I would take you along with me. I just got done with a long day <laughs> at work. So we're going to dinner tonight at Ted's Montana Grill. And I have some dinner plans tomorrow night with a special friend that you guys might know. So I thought I would take you along with me for my trip and uh, Hopefully you guys enjoy. It's about a five minute walk from my hotel to the uh, restaurant, so let's go. Hey guys, good morning. I thought I would chat with you uh, quickly while I'm getting ready this morning. So this is my final day in Atlanta. My flight is, I think, at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so not super early. I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to go to the airport like early, early with my coworkers, or if I'm just gonna wait and get an Uber to the airport on my own later, because I think they have to leave at like 5, 4.30 or 5 a.m. or something like that. So yeah, I'm not sure about that, but I'll update you when I figure it out. All right, so you guys know that whenever I travel, I take my Built Bars with me. Thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. I actually had one, I, I brought two on this trip with me. I had one yesterday and it actually came in really handy in the afternoon because I wanted something sweet and I was a little bit hungry. And so I had one of the Built Bar Puffs, which I would highly recommend. They taste like marshmallow candy and they're really good. So the puffs that I had yesterday was the banana, I think it's like banana cream pie and chocolate, but I also have a churro one that's really good. And I saw actually yesterday that they're just coming out with a pumpkin built bar puff, which is delicious. But this is the one I'm gonna take with me today, probably just to have in the afternoon if I need something. It is cookie dough chunk, and it actually has chunks of cookie dough in it. Really, really good. The reason I like these is because they are a nice sweet treat, but they're low in added sugar. They have protein in them, a, a good amount of protein, so they'll keep you full and only 150 calories, so win-win. If you haven't tried them before and you aren't quite sure you know, what flavor to get, they do have variety packs, so I would recommend getting one of those just kind of so you can figure out what your you know favorite flavor is before you order a whole box of it. But if you guys wanna check out Built Bar, I'll have a link in the description box below. I highly recommend them. If you're more into the, the sweet treats, I would definitely recommend the Built Bar Puffs. Make sure that you use my code, it's JenChapin10, and you can get 10% off your first order, which is fantastic. So definitely use that code and check it out. I'll have it all linked down below. All right, so I have something very exciting to share with you guys, and that is that but guess who I am meeting for dinner tonight? None other than my good friend Gia from the YouTube channel Marriage and Motherhood. She lives in the area and so we are gonna go out for dinner tonight. I'm super excited to meet her in person. We have been friends for a while here on YouTube. She's one of the moms that I have followed for a long time and I first started watching her when I was looking for other working moms here on YouTube and she's fantastic. If you guys don't know her, I'll leave her channel down below. Make sure that you check her out, but I'm super excited to meet her in person. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. She's gonna pick me up. I'm not quite sure where we're going or, or whatever, but I, I will trust her to take me somewhere. But last night we had Ted, Ted's Montana Grill, is that what it's called? I almost said Montana Jack, I don't know why. It was really good. I ended up getting like a burger, like a bunless burger, which was really good. And it came with like a kale salad. They had a pretty big menu. I was gonna get a steak, but I wasn't super hungry. So I didn't wanna order a bunch of food that I couldn't eat. But yeah, so today, we are actually headed to a clinic that is outside of Atlanta. So it's about half an hour away. So I just need to go uh, meet my coworkers this morning at 7.30 so we can get the, get the car and be on our way. This week has been super fun for me because I'm still kind of learning the job. I started back in December, but probably for the first you know, six to seven months. We still weren't traveling yet. And so I'm still kind of, I'm still learning, obviously. It's, you know, kind of one of those jobs where you learn over like, <laughs> 
you know, a couple a couple year period when you first start, just because there's so many things to know and learn. But my colleagues slash coworkers that I'm traveling with this week are awesome. So that's been super fun, but I am looking forward to going home tomorrow. And I think after this week, I'm home for a couple weeks and then sometime in November, I am going to New Orleans. So that'll be fun. I've been to New Orleans once for work several years back and the food there is incredible. I really want to go back there at some point just for like an actual vacation. They have such good food. Like uh, the last time I was there, I had like proper shrimp and grits and it was like one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten. So yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for New Orleans restaurants, let me know. All right. Let me get dressed and I'll show you my outfit for today. All right, so here is today's outfit. I have this Harper shirt from Torrid in like a, I don't know, what is this? Animal cheetah print? <laughs> but so black slacks, Mary Jane dance goes, a black cardigan, and then these are earrings from Ana Luisa, which I really love them. So I'm gonna go ahead, get out the door, walk down to meet my coworkers, and I need to see what I can find for breakfast. So they have had breakfast here, like a hot breakfast in the mornings. It's actually been pretty decent. Like like they have coffee and like pre-made hot breakfast sandwiches. So that's been, that's been really nice. I've been taking one of those with me every morning, but it's kind of funny when we travel together because like some people on my team really like to stay loyal to like Hilton brand. I have always been a Marriott person. So we try to keep our stays consistent with one brand so that we can get like <laughs> the loyalty points or whatever. I actually have like after this trip, I'll only have like four more nights I need for the rest of the year and then I'll be like a platinum Marriott member. I'm gonna grab some coffee. I would not say the coffee here has been great, but it's better than nothing. All right, so <laughs> it's raining, which is okay because I have a hood, but <laughs> it's been chill in the mornings here than I thought it would be. So I'm glad I brought a jacket. They had no breakfast sandwiches at the hotel. They had biscuits and gravy, but like they didn't have any to-go containers. So I basically just got biscuits. So hopefully that will be adequate. Okay guys, good evening. So it is about five, a little after 5 p.m. and I am off work for the day. So I got back here to my hotel room a little bit ago and just kind of refreshed my hair and makeup. So we're gonna go out for dinner tonight and I am just gonna wear that I wore today. I guess this is one of those times where do you remember always like reading in the magazines and stuff this is a look that transfers from day to night effortlessly and then like I've always like read these memes that are like magazines always believe made me <laughs> believe that I needed to transfer from day to night but never once has that happened <laughs> I always think those are funny. So anyway, uh, Gia is coming to pick me up, thank goodness, and super nice of her. I told her that I could take an Uber and meet her somewhere, but she offered to pick me up, which is very kind of her. The traffic here is like insane, <laughs> like very insane. So, I mean, just like any big city, you know, but I don't know where she's gonna take me, so I'll have to see about that. I did go to Chick-fil-A for lunch today while we were at the clinic, so that was good. I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a long time. I had one of those, like, uh, what do they call them? Cool wraps, those, those are really good. I did decide that I'm gonna go to the airport super early in the morning because it will just be easier for me than getting an Uber on my own. So we're gonna leave for the airport at 4.30 tomorrow morning, which is insane. I think my flight is at like 9.30 or 10 or something like that, which isn't bad, so. But I do have some work that I need to do tonight. I always feel like when you're traveling, like you can't necessarily keep up with all the other things that you're having to do. You know, like I'm, I'm not good at like staying on top of my emails and stuff like that, so or I haven't been this week anyway. Sometimes I am. So I need to do that after I get back here also and then probably, you know, get to bed by like a halfway <laughs> decent time, so I'm not super tired in the morning. Anyway, I'm just gonna wait for her and I will check back in with you guys in a little while. All right, so she said she was gonna be here in five minutes, so I'm gonna go downstairs. This hotel is like locked from the outside because it's like right on the street here downtown. And apparently they told us that this wasn't really in a very like safe area of downtown, so that makes sense. You have to have your key card to get back into the hotel lobby and like they were telling us not to, you know, walk around at night. <laughs> 
by ourselves so like the team that I'm with this week has been really good about like making sure I get back to my hotel so I do you know appreciate that it's always just kind of a you know something you have to think about when you're in a different city a big city you know especially when you're by yourself so. all right so I'm here at the Southern Gentleman and I'm here with Gia <laughs> she, we got in the car and she's like are you real <laughs> I know I had to talk to her I'm like Jen are you human are you real you're not you're not just an internet person. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm eating while we're eating and then I'll, I'll check back in with you later. So I got these like tempura catfish fingers, which are really good. We got hush puppies, Gia got fried chicken, looks delicious. And then I got a wedge salad. All right guys, so I'm back in my hotel room. It is about 10.30 and I need to go to bed because I need to get up at four tomorrow. But I wanted to kind of let you know like what an awesome time I had with Gia. So I have known her here on YouTube for years. We actually have each other's phone numbers and we you know text back and forth every once in a while she was actually one of the first working moms that I first started watching on YouTube back when I was kind of trying to search out that content and not finding <laughs> a lot you know kind of why I wanted to go into that niche on YouTube but she's just an awesome person you know that's one thing that I love about social media and YouTube is that like yes I love posting videos and you know interacting with you guys but I also just love meeting people that I have known online for for years and then you know you finally get to meet them in person like she was joking when she picked me up she's like touching my she's like oh my god you're real <laughs> i'm like yep here i am <laughs> So she chose the restaurant and everything, which was good because I did not know, or you know, I'm not familiar with the area. She picked me up and that was super nice because the traffic is like awful here. But of course I don't have a vehicle with me so I couldn't really <laughs> meet her anywhere unless I Ubered. But yeah, we had good dinner. Talked a lot about like just like family and kids and YouTube and it's just so awesome to have, you know, someone who kind of like speaks that language to talk to because not everyone understands like the ins and outs of what's involved in, you know, having a channel. So that was super fun. I was like, if I ever come back here, um, I'm gonna stay an extra day and come to your house and we'll make a cooking video. So <laughs> I thought that would be super fun. So I'll have to plan it better next time, which like, I don't know, like I, I should have planned it out better before, but I'm not always good about that, especially since I was traveling last week. So yeah, it was fun. So I'm gonna go to bed. I actually worked for a little bit tonight. And then right now I am uploading some clips to be edited. Anytime I have to like upload things in a hotel, whether it's to like YouTube or Google Drive. I always have to just start it at night when I go to bed and then by the time I wake up in the morning it'll be done because even with like the premium like internet speeds here in the hotel it's like not great and when I'm at home I normally use an ethernet cable with my laptop instead of trying to upload things over Wi-Fi because it's just so much faster. So yeah hopefully I can sleep well tonight and I'll be getting up at four so I'll see you guys in the morning and then we're gonna go to the airport and hopefully get some more work done and go home and then once I get home I'm gonna sleep for three days I'm just kidding not really but maybe hey guys good morning so it's about 4 a.m. and I get ready real quick I'm not doing like a full face of makeup or anything I'm just gonna get dressed and wash my face and fix my hair and I need to get downstairs by 4 30 tired all right so it's 4 30 they just texted me that they're on their way so I'm headed downstairs I think it's about a 30 minute drive to the airport maybe a little bit less because it's super early so yeah there's no even like coffee or anything yet because it's too <laughs> it's too early so hopefully hopefully I get some coffee at the airport So unfortunately, it's still super early and this coffee place right here is supposed to open at six, but they are not open. <laughs> so I don't know if they open at seven or what, but I still have about three hours before I have to board for my flight. So anyway, I'm glad I did not eat this built bar yesterday because it's gonna come in clutch right about now when I'm hungry, but I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm just gonna work here in the airport for a little while before my flight. Thank you so much for coming along with me on today's video. Don't forget to follow Gia. I'll have her channel down below. Gia, if you're watching, it was awesome to meet you. I had so much fun. I will also have a code down below for 10% off your first order at Built Bar. It is John Chapin 10 and I'll have a link uh, there as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.